Live from my board game room, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, let's go, everybody. Aw, oh, man, there goes the board game community. In this episode, work your magic. Come on, let's all get all tappy tappy now and break the spell. A cooperative game for kids and for adults too. It's not just kid stuff. Spoon with the quote from Seven Seconds, but anyway, it's it. No, never mind all that. In this episode, Cauldron Quest. Quick to the board game room. All right, here we go. It's Cauldron Quest. All right, so in this game. You're gonna get um, these uh, player marker tokens here. You're gonna get six potion bottles with ingredients. Okay, you're going to get six cauldron ingredients. Okay, that match the potion ingredients. Uh, the potion bottles ingredients. You're gonna get six path blockers. Okay, uh, a wizard hat with the stand. You're going to get one Spellbreaker token. And you can get the game board. <laughs> the two action dice. And you're going to get the three magic dice. Okay. So now, the six cauldron... The, the six potion bottles with ingredients. You're going to notice that there's a mushroom. Um, Eye of Newt. You're going to get... Uh, oh, you're going to get poison, a poison mushroom, eye of newt, bat wing, um, rotten egg, um, horn toad, and a dandelion root. And then same thing here, and on, on the bottom, there's nothing there. So it's just going to be, you're going to keep them face down. You're going to put these face down. On these spaces here, so you mix them up and just put them face down on these spaces here, and um, then that's it with that. So now, after that, you got these um, six cauldron ingredients tokens here. So you have the poison mushroom, the eye of newt, the bat wing, the rotten egg, the horn um, toad, and um, the dandelion root. Okay, so now notice at the bottom of these tokens, they have the cauldron on here. Okay, so now you're going to put three of these ingredients into the cauldron. So, well, let, let me, let's let go over everything else first. Um, the six path blockers, you're going to use these to block a path. Okay, so now you're going to get the rose. You're going to get the, the unicorn, the saber-toothed cat. You're going to get the candle. Um, you're going to get the uh, the owl. And um, the chalice or the cup. Okay, now um, on the bottom of these tokens, you get the cauldron. Okay, so on the bottom of these tokens, you're going to get the magic hat. Okay, and these are going to be the, the six path blockers. Okay, now um, the one spell breaker token, you're going to get the, um, the symbol like that on there. It's, you know, like a swirly symbol uh, over there. And um, on the back of that, on, on the front, whatever it's a spell breaker. Um, you're gonna get these um, two action dice, and the two action dice has a magic hat on it, and um, the uh, a, a potion bottle. Okay, and then on this die, there's gonna be numbers. It's gonna be either three or four, and then there's gonna be lightning bolts on it. Okay, I'll explain what these dice do when you roll these dice in a bit. And now you're gonna get these. Then you're gonna get. Now you're gonna get these. Um, the the three these three magic dice, and they're really cool looking. I like the way that they're all you know swirly like um, like uh, they got like that swirly look to it, like that smoky look, like they're real magical dice. You know, it's pretty cool. So oh cool, I rolled three rolled three fours, four eight twelve. Cool. 
So now, anyway, so those are the pieces in the game that you're going to get. And there's, here's the magic hat. Now, this game board, to me, it, it looks a little bit like um, Castle Panic, but um, different. And the game's played kind of different, too. So um, now here's the cauldron. And um, the object, now the object of the game is to get the three correct ingredients into the cauldron before all six of the paths are blocked. Um, the evil wizard has cast a spell to destroy the kingdom. You have the power to create a potion to break the spell, but you must work together. So this is a cooperative game. Your quest is to find the three correct ingredients hidden under the potion bottles and move them up to the paths, up the paths, and into the cauldron before the wizard blocks all the paths. If you do not get all three potion bottles with the correct ingredients to the cauldron before the pads are blocked, the wizard triumphs and the kingdom is destroyed. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. So um, now you're gonna get um uh you, you get now you, you gotta you gotta um set out the board where everyone can reach it. Okay. So um yeah, th this board looks really cool. It's got like a really for some reason like like. This board, like these kind of games, like they they just um they got like that really cool like nostalgic like um you know subconscious you know like uh, f feeling like to this game like, at least to me you know like um to these kind of games because they just look like a storybook and I I just you know get like all like peaceful and relaxed when I play cool games like this because. They just look like old storybooks I used to read when I was a kid, you know, back in the school libraries, and, um, I don't know, that, 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 that's, like, you know, really cool to me, you know, but the, the game is, um, a pretty cool game, and, um, it's, like, actually playing a storybook in a way, you know, that you would read back in the day, so, okay, so now, you're going to, um, set up the board, you're going to set out, set out the board where everyone can reach it, okay? All right, so now the board's going to be set up like this. You're going to turn the potion bottles ingredients side down. Okay, so ingredients side down and mix them up without looking. Place without looking one place one potion bottle ingredient side down on each of the you know the spaces on the board that look like this, okay? So face down, ingredients face down on one of these spaces that look like this on each of these um spaces in in this part of the board you're going to notice okay in the gray sections of the board so now after that you're going to turn the cauldron ingredients face down these are the cauldron ingredients because you're going to know that there's a cauldron on it so that means you're going to place these in the cauldron okay you're going to turn the cauldron ingredients face down and mix them up without looking choose three of them and place them face up in the cauldron in the center of the board these are the three ingredients you will need to break the evil wizard's spell. Set the other cauldron ingredients aside. They will not be needed. So, um, I'm going to put a mushroom there, a poison mushroom, uh, a horned toad, and a, a bat wing. Okay? So, that's that's those three ingredients are in there. Okay, so now we're going to set these aside now. It's like, I guess they're not going to be any use in the game then. Okay, now the dice you're going to set aside, a spell breaker token you're going to set aside, these you're going to set aside too, these path blockers. Now I'm going to tell you about them now, what to do with them. Mix up the path blockers and place them face down near the board. Okay, so you mix these up, let's say I did, and then you're just going to place them face down next to the board or near the board. Okay, so now place the wizard hat, you're going to get the wizard hat now, you're going to place the wizard hat um on the arrow on the purple path on the board this is the wizard's ring the wizard moves only on the this ring and only in a clock clockwise direction so you know, put it right in the arrow right here okay you know move it along clockwise in a clockwise di direction okay now place the two action dice three magic dice and the spellbreaker token near the board where all players can reach them okay right here so now the youngest player goes first okay so now um how to play so you will begin each turn by rolling the white action dice 
right here, okay? And um, these dice will tell you what to do on your turn. Remember, Cauldron Quest is a cooperative game. Work as a team and help each other determine the best move on each turn. There are four possible action dice outcomes, okay? So you can either roll a potion bottle and a three or a four, okay? You could roll, and if you do that, you're going to move a potion bottle. So you got you roll a potion bottle, and then the other die is going to tell you how many to move. So you're going to move it four, move a potion bottle four spaces, okay? Um, this one now, uh, the wizard moves. So when you roll that, the wizard is going to move four, three or four spaces, okay? So now, um, um, the wizard hat and a lightning bolt, well, then that means that a path is blocked, okay? And if you're going to roll, if you roll a potion bottle and a lightning bolt, you're going to roll the magic dice, okay? You're going to roll these magic dice here. And like I said, they're really cool looking, all smoky looking, like they're real magic, like they're real magic dice. And I roll a five. Six, seven. Ooh, wow, lucky seven. Cool, lucky me. All right, now. Um, so now, move a potion bottle. All right, so now, when you move a potion bottle, if you roll a potion bottle and a three, let's just say, okay, you're going to um, move any potion bottle, the number of spaces shown on the die. You can move any potion bottle even if the ingredient has not yet been revealed, all right? So I'll, I'll tell you how to reveal an ingredient in the purple magic charm, um, you know, part, okay? So now, um, potion bottles can be moved up, can move up and down paths and in either direction on the wizard's ring. So potion bottles can move on up and down the paths and on the wizard's ring, Okay. So, in either direction on the wither, on the wizard, the wizard's ring. So it's a nice, you know, you know where the stars are. The wizard's ring is going to be the the ring, the path with all the stars and moons on it, very celestial like. Okay, and um, you know the celestial path here. Okay, so now potion bottles can move up and down paths and in either direction on the wizard's ring. Potion bottles cannot move past the wizard. On the wizard's ring. Okay. They can't move past the wizard on the wizard's ring. Okay. Um, or past a path blocker. That has been placed on the board. So if a, a path blocker has been placed on the board. It, it, it can't move past the path blocker. Because the path is obviously being blocked by the path blocker. So now. Um, a potion bottle cannot move into the cauldron until its ingredients have been revealed okay so until the ingredients have been revealed you cannot move your potion bottle into the cauldron okay so you do not need an exact role to move a potion bottle into the cauldron okay um so now uh the wizard moves um if you roll the wizard Okay, the wizard, and you roll like a four, let's just say, for example. Then um, you move the wizard clockwise around the ring, around on the wizard's ring, the number of spaces shown on the die. So one, two, three, four. So the wizard's going to end up here. Okay. And um, if the wizard p passes by or stops in a potion bottle in the ring, that potion bottle must go back to the nearest open space that has started from the board. So let's just say, for example, the um, wizard landed on a potion bottle. Now this potion bottle has got to go back to where it came from, which is this space here on this section of the board, because that's where it came from. Okay? So now um, a path is blocked. Okay? So now a path is blocked. You're going to roll a wizard hat. And a lightning bolt, okay? So now, oh no, the wizard has blocked the path. Turn one of the path blockers face up 
and place it on the matching path space on the board. That path is now blocked. Okay, so now you're going to take, let's just say, for example, the rows, and you're going to put it on here. Now the path is blocked, okay, because you put it face up and placed it on a matching path space on the board. That matches, so you're going to do just that, okay, like that. Throughout the game, you'll do stuff like that, okay, and that's how you do it. So if a, pa if a potion bottle is on the space, it moves back to the nearest space that it came from. So... If it's on this space, it's going to be now it's blocked. It can't, it's stuck and it can't go anywhere now. So it has to go back to where it came from, which is over here. Yikes. Oh, no. Yikes. That stinks. So that's too bad. So now that's what happens with that. So now um, potion bottles cannot move past path blockers on the board, but they can move along the wizard's ring to an unblocked path, okay? So potion bottles cannot move past blockers on the board, but they can move along the wizard's ring to an unblocked path. So you can still move these to an unblocked path. So they can't pass the wizard hat, but they can wait until this hat moves around, and then they can move to an unblocked space and go there, okay? So now... Um, so, um, if, uh, if a, the, if a potion bottle is on a space above the path blocker, it can continue to move forward to the cauldron, okay? So let's just say, for example, uh, this path is now blocked, right? Um, the unicorn. So it's now blocked, right? But the, the potion bottle is in front of this uh path blocker the potion bottle can still go to the the cauldron okay and that's it so to remove one path blocker use the special uh the spell breaker token okay so now um you're going to remove one path blocker by using the spell breaker token so now you use it and then you remove the spell the the, the path blocker Okay, and then that's it. So now, Spellbreaker token. Okay, the Spellbreaker token now. Um, use this token at any point in the game to remove one path blocker from the board. Okay, removing the path blocker opens the blocked path. The Spellbreaker token can be used only once during the game. Turn it face down after it has been used. The path blocker that was removed from the board is then turned face down and put next to the board with the, any other remaining path blockers. It is now back in play. Okay? So the Spellbreaker token must be used before all six of the path blockers are on the board. Alright? Now, roll the magic dice. Okay? Work your magic. Let's all get all tappy-tappy now. <laughs> Roll the three black magic dice to try to release a magic charm. Okay? So, you're going to roll these dice here. And magic charms help you reveal ingredients. Swap bottles or move past path blockers in the wizard. If you are successful, use the charm. If you are not, it is the next player's turn. Magic charms. Roll any number of the dice of the three dice up to three times to try to use a, ch a charm. Always declare which charm you want to try be for before you roll the dice. So reveal charm. Roll all evens. Okay, which I did before when I rolled three fours. Now, um. Uh. Okay. Oh. Well. well whatever. Anyway. So now, um. Roll three. Even numbers to reveal an ingredient. A potion bottle must have its ingredient face up before it can be added to the cauldron. The, to, the reveal charm allows you to turn the potion bottles, bottle ingredients, ingredient side up. So now I can move it side up because I rolled, I rolled three twos. So those are three even numbers. So, um... You must first roll three even numbers to release this charm's power. 
to reveal the ingredient. Leave the potion bottle ingredient side up for the remainder of the game. Okay? Here's a tip, though. Reveal ingredients early in the game so you know which potion bottles you need to move. That's a smart idea. Okay? Swap charm. Roll all odds. Um, one, three, and five. If you roll all odds like that, then that means that roll three odd numbers to swap any two potion bottles anywhere on the board. For instance, swap a potion bottle that is on a blocked path with one that is not. Okay, so you get to swap a potion bottle that's, you know, that is on a blocked path with one that's not. So you get to just go like this and swap, okay? So now, um, here's a tip for that now. You might want to wait until you have revealed a few ingredients before swapping. Super Power Charm. Roll a total of 12 on all three dice. That I did before. Four. If I did, I forget. But anyway, it's at four, eight, 12. Okay? So Super Power Charm, where you can roll a four, a five, and a three. Roll a total of 12 on all three dice. The Super Power Charm allows you to move a potion bottle past the wizard on the wizard's ring or past a, a path block on a path. That's cool. That's your superpower. Okay? So now, um, uh, if the numbers on the, the three dice add up to 12, you can move any potion bottle up to six spaces. Cool. You may move into the cauldron if the ingredient is revealed. Okay? So sample magic dice roll, like you declare that you want to try for the reveal charm, you can roll a total of three times to get all even numbers. For example, on your first roll, you roll two even numbers and an odd number. Now, um, you have two rolls to get another even number on the third die. On your second roll, you leave two and four and re-roll only five. Now, if you roll an even number and all three dice have even numbers, you have successfully rolled the reveal charm and you can turn over any potion bottle to reveal an ingredient. Game end. Get the three potion bottles with the correct ingredients into the cauldron before the wizard blocks all the paths and you all win. If the wizard blocks all six paths, before the three potion bottles with the correct ingredients are in the cauldron, the wizard wins. Oh no. Alright. So that's basically it. And that's Cauldron Quest. Now let's go see what my final thoughts about the game is. Alright, so Final Thoughts. Now what do I think about this game? Wow 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 wow. Cauldron Quest. Very cool game. It's really not just kid stuff, okay? I know, spoof with the quote from the hardcore band back in the day, seven seconds. But anyway, it's it. I'm just kidding around now. Um, This game is cool. I like the board. It's, it's a circle board, and you're going around in circles around the cauldron. And I love, as I said, I love the way the artwork looks on um, this game board. It, it's really cool. It's got, like, to me, my opinion, it's got that nostalgic, you know, subconscious, like, dreamy, like, um, you know, way about the art on his game board that it just looks good, like an old storybook I would read when I was a kid back in the school library. You know, um, very peaceful and, like, relaxing looking, you know, like, very soft art, you know, it's cool. And, um, like, I like the Celestial Path look to it, too. It's very cool. I like this game. I mean, you could tell I got a smile on my face, you know, like, while looking at this game, while I'm reviewing this game. The dice are cool. The magic dice are really cool. They're smoky. They're, they got, like, that, you know, that, um, smoky look to the, the magic dice. They're cool looking. The action dice, I like the symbols on the die. As I, as I told you before in my other episodes... I love the way, you know, dice are with symbols on them that when you look at them, you know and you could tell that what the event is that the dice are, are describing that you need to, to um, um, take action on in the game, you know? So it tells you what to do just by the symbol. You know what to do in the game. It's cool. I like those kind of dice. 
Um, the magic hat is pretty cool. It's cute, you know. It's cool. I like the way um, it looks. I mean, it would have been cool if they had, like, an actual wizard going around, you know, the board. But um, the magic hat, it, it it's all right. It serves its purpose, you know. What, what are you going to do? The, the potion bottles, it's cool. And I like how on the bottom you can see and look inside to see what, what, what the ingredients is inside the potion bottles. That's cool. The tokens are great. You know, um, the, um, the, the instructions are very easy to follow. You know, um, it just, you're, you're, you're going, I mean, I know I give instructions about the games and stuff, but sometimes you gotta excuse me. I have a little bit of a problem comprehending, you know, what I say about the instructions, you know, so in my review and my opinion part about the board game review show. So just bear with me now. Like, um, I like how you have to try to work together as a cooperative team, group, whatever, and then you just try to get the potion bottles to the quadrant, but you have the cauldron, but you have to guess and try to find the right ingredients that, you know, and then when you do, when you reveal the ingredients from the potion bottle that are in the potion bottles, you gotta bring those potion bottles now to the cauldron. But you have to find ways. There's strategy and tactics to this game, which is cool. Because then you gotta find ways to try to get around the magic hat, you know, the, the wizard, um, and use a spell breaker once or once in the game, and something like that. Now, um, you gotta make sure you do all your strategy and tact strategical tra tactics, strategical tactical moves, in order to get around and find a spot where you can get in, be into the cauldron. Before those six spaces are blocked, okay, from the wizard or whatever, okay? But that's going to be rolled out and determined in a dice roll. That's what I like about the dice, too. So that adds to the challenge of the game. There's a lot. I mean, like, you know, there's a lot in this game. The game, you know, you move the potion tokens, you know, to the cauldron. And you can also move them around in a ring, which is cool. Then try to get closer into the center of the board, which is the cauldron. I, I, I like this game. This game is really cool. Um, it, 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 it's, a, it's a fun game for kids and, and the family and, you know, any board gamer out there that likes these kind of games. It's a good game. I highly recommend it. That's Cauldron Quest, the board game. <laughs> That's it for today, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game, freak out. Da 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 da